Are you looking to be the first in the know? Know something that nobody else does. Well, not nobody. I mean, somebody knows about this. But yeah, most somebody people, drove by. Yeah, somebody <laughs> drove by. Most people don't know about this place. We're out in Knightsville today in a brandy new neighborhood where there's not one. Well, there's one structure. There's one structure. Right here. We'll, we'll show you that before we go. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, not going to tour that today. Well, a quick tour. Just to, can we? Uh, let's just show. It's, all it's, right. It's, I mean, it's already built. It's here. We should show it to them. Right? All right. All, all right. right. All right. So this is Strawberry Station. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Closer to Strawberry, I think. Here in the Knightsville section of Somerville, but you're only maybe seven minutes to downtown Somerville. Probably. Which downtown Somerville is beautiful if you've never been there before. Yep. We've got a nice, uh, what's that park called? Oh, the the one like the main... you pass uh, going into Azalea Park? Is it not? Uh, yeah, no. Azalea, no. No, no, There's Which, a really nice part. Where the guy plays the video, and I mean, the plays the music. The Your guy? friend. Oh, Hutchinson, Hutchinson Square. Hutchinson Square, yeah, yeah. Yes. There's a little park in downtown Somerville, all kinds of restaurants. You got the uh, Garen's Pharmacy that yep. Jeff always talks about. Yep. Uh, it goes for a couple different blocks. Lots of festivals. We got Sweet Tea Festival and coffee shops, coffee shops. breweries, wine and tapas bars. So you're only um, seven minutes from all of every that. Every Saturday morning, they do the, the farmer's market oh, over yeah, there. The it, it's a really great area. Yeah. But this is a cool neighborhood. Uh, this is going to be brand new from Dreamfinder Homes. Uh, they used to be Crescent Homes, and now yep. they're Dreamfinder Homes. And they're going to have three different versions of structures in here. Number one is a townhouse. Yep which is gonna be uh, about half of the neighborhood. And then about half the neighborhood is gonna be single family, some with uh, garages in the rear. In the rear, so yep. detached in the back. And then front load. And then some front load. Yeah, so the bigger lots will have the front load, a little bit higher, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, right there on the map. Hold right on, right. oh, uh, the map uh, up. Uh, 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 Heritage. Heritage, yes, yes, yes. The Heritage series will be a, a little bit higher quality. But they're all going to have the hardy plank siding, including the townhomes. So it's going to look really nice here. Yeah. Crescent or Dream Potters Dream now has done a really good job in other neighborhoods with the hardy plank, with the nice coastal colors and yep. all of that. Beautiful. Uh, so we're going to see a lot of that for sure. And one thing that I think is really cool with this neighborhood is it's just going to be over 100 homes total in two phases yes. when it's all done. And they're going to have a nice amenity center for a smaller neighborhood like this with an, an HOA fee that is not absurd. Mm -hmm. And I was really impressed that the regime fee on the age, on the, uh, on Town the townhouses is only, I think it'll be 145 a month. And that's a lot lower than we've seen. It is a lot like lower. Like double. We normally see around 300 oh, a yeah. month. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. So, so that kind of covers your, so you've got a, a, an HOA for the single family homes and the townhomes. That covers everything. That's your big thing about like your pool. Yep. And then you've got the, the monthly regime fee on the townhouses. And that kind of covers the roofs and, and the shared structure of the townhouse. But and we've seen much higher for sure. I wonder if that will include the maintenance, I would imagine. So for your lawn for and lawn stuff care. when you, you do a townhome, I don't right? Know. Yeah, well, at least your backyard. So we'll, we'll have to find that out. Yeah. If you really want to know that, either comment down below or let us know. And also, we get calls, text messages, emails from people all the time all over the country about hey what about this or you know what about this neighborhood or what's the best neighborhood for that we love hearing that kind of stuff if you want to know more though and we can schedule a zoom call with you down in the description click the link and um, that way it'll drop right into our calendars we can schedule a call when it's best for you yeah you always want to do that with new home construction you want to talk to us first before you talk to the builders and I know there's not much here in this neighborhood now, but they do have model homes in this area. So if you do come yes. to town, you're in this, we can take you over to model homes to walk through and see what it's like. Let's go right now and go see the uh, the one structure they do have here. I think it's really important that you know what's out here now, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, so we're over here at the one existing structure in the neighborhood. But while we're over here, I want to show you the whole neighborhood, at least this first section, is all pretty much all back to woods up and down the neighborhood. But here's the one structure that's already built, so I thought we'd give you a tour of this. Seriously? This <laughs> is on. what you wanted the tour? Come on. Oh, mama. <laughs> I wish you could smell things on YouTube. It's got a built-in urinal. It's got seating for one. Wait, I thought that was to wash your hands. <laughs> that's not to wash your hands? Oh, I've been doing it wrong all these <laughs> no, years. This is hand sanitizer oh. for that. Whoops. 
this comes with toilet paper. So this, uh, the end result will be much nicer than this. <laughs> I pictured you washing your hands. Uh, there'll be much better than this once we open, I promise. Can we get serious now? So it's not normal you find just a half bath in a new neighborhood, but that's the only thing that- You're you so know. ridiculous. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I know. I, I had a, oh wait, that, that story's not Facebook friendly. You know what? I do have a story about an outhouse, but you have to come to town and get in the car with us to drive around and remind me to tell you the story about the outhouse. It's a good one. <laughs> so, you know, downtown Somerville is super close to this neighborhood. Yeah. But also, Knightsville is a unique section of Somerville, I would yeah. say, and kind of has its own vibe. And you used to live I did. super close to here. I did. So kind of go over some of the things you like about Knightsville. Quick, easy access out to 26. It's got a lot of restaurants and shops and grocery stores. All that stuff you need to live is right here in Knightsville. Plus some like the Knightsville General Store and some other areas. There's some parks that are super close uh, just out the Dorchester Road here from where we're not far. You can be over the Dorchester County Parks. Um, so I, there's a barbecue restaurant here. That's all. Oh, you yeah? Know. yeah, there's a barbecue restaurant. Here. I, oh. I really just... I don't, we don't sell any houses where there's no barbecue restaurants <laughs> close. So but don't they got worry, the it's all covered. Yep. There's a Walgreens, there's a CVS, you've got Eggs Up Grill. Yep, Italian Bistro. Italian one Bistro. One of our favorite Italian restaurants. Um, you got the Parkers right there. Yep. There's the their uh, hardware store. Yeah. Which you don't have to go all the way to Lowe's nope. or Home Depot or all that. Nope. It's right here. Right, yeah. what, three miles away? It is, yeah. Lots of, and one of the big draws here for this area is uh, Pinewood Prep. So there's a, oh, yeah. a, lo a local private school here that a lot of parents send their kids to. So you're super close to that location here. It's a great school. Uh, my niece went there for a few years, really liked it. Uh, Dorchester County Schools here where we're at. Uh, there's just a lot about this area and a lot of Somerville is growing out in this direction. So you gotta go from Somerville and then out to Ridgeville, but in between that is Knightsville here, mm -hmm. right? I mean, if we look at the map, yeah. that's gonna... Yeah, yeah. And so the, the, the neighborhoods are moving out this way. So to have a nice, brand new neighborhood, nobody else's toenails on the carpet. <laughs> in this area, I, I think this could be a this could be a well-planned neighborhood. So a lot of people would say Knightsville is not really close to the highway, Jeff, but there's like a little back way that goes out to you the highway. Off. It's not exit 199, right? No, no, it's it's got its own exit out there. Uh, and, and there's Jedburg a, Road, right? Jedburg Road exit, that's yeah. what it is, yeah. yeah. So you don't realize how close that is, but it's got to be only 10 minutes away from here. Probably. Tops, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you're working up in Ridgeville or uh, up at Volvo or down at Mercedes, it's you a good can get location. to that area for really, sure. really quick. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, like Mark said, drop down, schedule a Zoom call meeting with us, and we'll see you at the next one. Yes, like and subscribe. And yeah, do that All too. that stuff. Do, do that. Do it. Do it.